I'm gay. That went well, I guess. I've had some mixed reviews about the video I put up yesterday. On one hand, like three people said that they really liked it, and two of them were my girlfriend and my mom. And I enjoyed making that video. It just, it wasn't funny. It was kind of weird because I was starting to get subscribers and then I lost all of them. Hey, this guy's making some cool stuff. What the fuck is this? I don't know. You can't please everyone. I've been kind of going back and forth between the comedy and serious sort of sketch. The cheese it thing was like, comedious. Maybe some people are just looking for more gaming related stuff. I don't really want to do that because everyone can do that. Everyone can just record them playing games and be, <gasps> whoa, that was cool. This game is so, Similar to everything. So everyone who left, I wish you enjoyed what I did. But if you don't, there's a lot of other people out there who are funny. It kind of sucks because when I come out with a video, I'm not so much concerned about how it's doing. I'm already thinking about the next day. So I never really get to just sit in that moment and be like, I made this, I can look at that for a while and be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Which is too bad because I'm a massive fucking narcissist. <laughs> I really am. It's it's bad. So YouTube's a little strange. It has its niches. There are people who get on YouTube and they go, oh, well, I can definitely make the same kinds of videos as, that other people are making, and I can just make them high quality, and then that's what people know me for. Top 10. Like, watch Mojo. Top 10 farts in movies. Top 10 bullshit sayings that people have said, and then Trump has number one through ten. You have your reviews. You have, like, toy reviews, which are, oh god. Linus Tech Tips. I like Linus Tech Tips because, you know, he's my review guy. But that's the problem. You get caught in that niche. So, like, you know, I did all these gaming videos, and then people come back and they're just like, where the fuck is his gaming stuff? What is this? Why is he crying? Acting. There's some change for a whiny little bitch. There's like a solid 10 cents in here. It's like a month's salary for me. I mean, there's reviews for everything that you can buy, so, you know, that's that's a niche market that you can fit into. It's not creatively glorifying, but it's helpful to people. Okay, we all shut up now? No. No, we not shut up now. The moment I start, they'll bark. There it is! You know, Vine compilations. People just take what other people have made, compile it together to make just a funny little video. The try not to laugh things, or try not to smirk, or whatever. There's a bunch of, like, trashy, garbage things that people can make. At least I think I'm shaking it up. I probably fall in the niche of shit. The other kind of niche that there is, that I kind of like, is like the YouTube personality niche. So, you know, you got your iDubs, you got your Filthy Frank, you got your PewDiePie, you got your H3H3, you got your Tyler Durden, what's his name? Tyler Woodworth? They act spunky and whatever, and I think they're just being themselves, maybe like an amped up version of themselves, because, you know, I don't walk around and talk like this to people. Usually I'm, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, you liked my video? <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, that's a blister. Ah. So the YouTube personalities are... I'd want to be up there where they just kind of make their own stuff. Casey Neistat, he uses cool cameras and he takes cool shots of stuff. That's pretty sweet. And then you get conspiracy videos. 9-11 was an inside job. Obama is a Muslim. The earth is flat. The moon is hollow. Donald Trump will be a good president. These people are out there breeding. But the real way, if you want to blow up on YouTube, is to grab yourself a man and get yourself pregnant. Because Jesus H. Christ, we are pregnant. 12 million upvotes. We are trying for a baby. 13,000 subscribers. He just did it. People eat that shit up. It's probably the demographic that I'm not even talking to right now. Ladies, you'll be like 100 subscribers or something like that. We're pregnant. A million subscribers, you fucking clods. I don't want to farm little babies to have content. I'm not saying that mine's better. I'm not saying that mine's more justified. I just don't want to do that. I wanna make my own shit. I wanna make my own shit. Alright? Hey guys, how's it going? Eight weeks right here. We're gonna call it Art and Junior. Hey guys, 12 months right here. We're gonna call it oh, Hardcore Junior. Hey guys, 10 days right here. As you can tell, oh, boob action's already starting to happen. Damn. I'm probably a B cup. I'm just gonna keep making stuff. It's gonna be random stuff, because half the shit that I've been doing over the couple days will be like, oh yeah, I need to make something. But what if, what if we just don't? You know, I'm gonna make something. What if it's not, I'm gonna make something. What if it's not, I'm gonna make, but what if it's not?
Oh god, I should not be doing that. I have a hand model thing. Oh shit! We're okay, we're just shredding our nails. Yes, I said hand model. I'm in a Little Caesars commercial. My hands are. Isn't that so sweet? I pick up a piece of pizza, and then I'm gonna be in another commercial with just my hands. Oh, it's just like a dream come true!